My future's a path that I have the right on my own. I know the seasons they'll come and they'll change, and it's okay not to be okay. But I want this every day. You take me higher than I've ever been, but it's impossible. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. So I will now ask, who gives Rachel to be married to Thomas? Thank you, sir. I've given it my heart. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Thomas Andrew Rowley. Why I, Thomas Andrew Rowley. Why I, Rachel Haley Morris. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Thomas Andrew Rowley. To Thomas Andrew Rowley. I, Thomas Andrew Rowley. I, Thomas Andrew Rowley. Take you, Rachel Haley Morris. Take you, Rachel Haley Morris. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Rachel Haley Morris. Take you and Thomas Andrew Rowley. Take you, Thomas Andrew Rowley. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And I promise to care for you. And I promise to care for you. With love and friendship. With love and friendship. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. 
through good times and through troubled times. Through good times and through troubled times. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. With love and patience. With love and patience. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And to be faithful always. And to be faithful always. These promises I make for you. These promises I make for you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And I promise to care for you. And I promise to care for you. With love and friendship. With love and friendship. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. Through good times and through troubled times. Through good times and through troubled times. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. With love and patience. With love and patience. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And to be faithful always. And to be faithful always. These promises I make to you. These promises I make to you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. It's my privilege to declare that you are now legally married and you may kiss my other man. <laughs> If the Mona Lisa canvas would, I wouldn't care, cause I could picture you. If the Tower of Pisa finally tipped, well then you'd know how hard I felt. If the world stopped turning tomorrow If it all fell into the sea I'd let it sink to the bottom Cause I only care about one thing You know None of it matters as much as you matter to me If the Big Bang Tower ceases to ring, it's okay, cause I could sing for you. If every flower went extinct, my heart would still be blossoming for you. If the world stopped turning tomorrow If it all fell into the sea I'd let it sink to the bottom Cause I only care about one thing You know None of it matters as much as you matter to me No, none of it matters as much as you matter to me Everything changed I say the same Through any heartbreak My love will remain If the world stopped turning tomorrow If it all fell into the sea I'd let it sink to the bottom Cause I only care about one thing you know. No, none of it matters as much as you matter to me. No, none of it matters as much as you matter to me. Every wedding is special, but walking down the aisle with your daughter is something very, very special, and I'll never forget that.
I'm sure you'll agree, my daughter looks amazing today. Uh, and Rachel looks pretty good too. But I have to say, without any hesitation, Rachel is an amazing person and all of our family are immensely proud of what she's achieved so far. She is annoyingly clever and has an honours degree. She's also an incredible nurse, mother, daughter, granddaughter and sister and an all-round great person to be with. Now let's get this over with, come on. Now, for the main event, the now Rachel Rowley, my beautiful, gorgeous, simply stunning wife. That's going to take some getting used to. Doesn't she look absolutely breathtaking today? My heart nearly stopped when I saw you walking down the aisle. Someone asked me at work the other day, who is punching in your relationship? A particularly slow day. This is how we spend the taxpayers' money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew then and definitely know now that it's me punching and I'm the luckiest man alive to now get to call you my wife. Me and Rachel have been together for six and a half years. We didn't waste any time, I know, as evidenced by a lovely five-year-old and one and a half year old. <laughs> You've given me the greatest gift, gift ever during our time together, our two boys, and you're the greatest mother to them, as well as having a third child to look after in me. I can honestly say that my life is now complete. I have everything I need with you and the boys, and I'm so happy to celebrate our marriage today, especially since most of it is a surprise to me. <laughs> You've organised everything for this day, as you do my whole life. I genuinely couldn't manage without you. It's amazing I've got myself and I'll be here today. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you, a woman that has agreed to and followed through with marrying me, even when I get your name wrong on a birthday card less than a month ago. <laughs> in my defence, I had two children off hanging, hanging off me at the time, and I blame Moonpig. Knowing that I've come, have you to come home to and love me makes me any day bearable. And no matter what, I never have to worry about my home life. I'm the happiest when I'm at home with you, and you're my best friend and the love of my life. But most importantly, throughout the many ups and downs, you've managed to maintain such a clear love of one another. And it's clear to see that you're meant to be together. I look forward to continuing seeing your love grow stronger and to create special memories together, both as a couple and a family. Without further ado, I'd like to raise a toast to, Miss, to the new Mr. and Mrs. Rowler. Yeah. Raoul, I've never seen someone so seemingly ill-prepared step up and be such a fantastic dad in every way. You're selfless, patient, kind, and I know there is nothing you wouldn't do for the boys. Both Ollie and Spencer are lucky to have such a great guy as their father and great woman as their mother. You both appear to make it look so easy when I know it can't be, and that's down to the perfect match that you are together. And even though as he mentioned, he still puts the wrong name on your birthday card. <laughs> I've never seen the guy so happy, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for the Rowleys. So, without further ado, could you all be upstanding? Raise a glass to Tom, Rach, Ollie and Spencer, to the Rowleys! Shouldn't be like it's all a part of some big plan 